shampooing your hair versus not shampooing your hair. That's gonna be the versus video for today. And I am so thankful that you all have been embracing this new approach to my videos because I've been looking for something to bring to the table for all of you. Wait a minute, what the heck? Sorry about that. <laughs> I saw something, I was like, what the? Um, uh, bringing to the table something new and refreshing because after being on YouTube for probably almost 14 years now, you know, <laughs> and posting five days a week, uh, it gets a little interesting and sometimes I'm looking for some new stuff. Now, this is another twist to this <clears throat> and, I, and I want your opinions on this. How about if we took these videos to a whole other level where we started comparing you know, hairstyle versus hairstyle from like, you know, a, cele like a celebrity or an influencer or, you know, a, a soccer player, like this person's hair versus this person's hair. What are the pros and cons of it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to definitely try that. It would mostly be, uh, sorry about that. It would mostly be, I would say, image-based for the most part. And I just have to be careful with like using images. However, let me know. But also let me know if you want to see whatever other types of hairstyle versus like hair tips and things like that. So shampooing your hair versus not shampooing your hair. So let's talk about the, let's start with shampooing your hair first, the pros and the cons of that, and then not shampooing. So shampooing your hair, basically what shampoo does is it cleanses your scalp, it cleanses your hair, removes buildup, removes traces of whatever the heck is in your hair. And it, I hate to say it, keeps your hair clean. Think of when you wash your laundry, your laundry gets cleaned. Your clothes get clean when you wash it in the, in the laundry. So that's kind of what shampoo does. If you were to just, t imagine if you were to just take your dirty clothes, throw them in the washer machine, and then just rinse it. I mean, it's not going to clean it as well as it's needed, okay? It may rinse off like some of the dirt and grime, but it's not gonna get rid of the smell. Uh, it's not going to really deep cleanse your clothes to where they're nice and fresh. It's the same thing with washing your hair or shampooing your hair. If you're just using water, you're not really cleansing. Water, it's like when you wash your hands, if you really want your hands to be clean, use soap. If you just rinse your hands off, you're not really disinfecting anything, any germs or anything with, with, without using soap. You're not really getting the dirt and grime off like you should be, okay? So... In my opinion, the pros to shampooing your hair are you're literally cleaning your scalp. Now also, especially with my shampoos, like I have you know a hemp shampoo and conditioner, which really works wonders for the scalp. If you've got a dry scalp, um, any sort of you know issues, you're flaking, things like that, hemp is a very, very healing type of you know ingredient and um, it's a phenomenal product and I've gotten so much feedback from how hemp or my hemp shampoo and conditioner have really, really saved people's scalps from dry scalp or flaking or and psoriasis, all sorts of stuff. And they're like, I'm never using anything. So depending on my pure shampoo helps, you know, block DHT. It helps with, you know, promoting thicker hair growth and some shampoos basically really do help with promoting a healthier hair growth, healthier scalp, scalp issues. So shampoos can be amazing, especially mine, right? Now, if you're going to a random store and buying a shampoo that's really loaded with like harsh chemicals, there's no real benefits to it, chances are it may dry out your hair a little bit, it may dry your scalp, and I've experienced that over the you know 30 plus years of being in this industry. I've used shampoos, even from other professional lines, that really make the hair feel very, very dry, okay? So there could be an issue there, but that's where conditioner comes in, okay? Um, I'll just sprinkle in conditioner. It definitely is designed to kind of smooth your hair and detangle, and that's what makes it feel a lot softer, all right? So the pros of shampooing your hair really is you're actually cleaning your hair. Now, what are some cons of shampooing your hair? Well, like I mentioned, if you're using a shampoo that's not really the highest quality or the greatest quality, you may feel like it's drying your hair out and it just may not feel good, okay? Uh, and, and we don't always necessarily want that. Some shampoos with specific ingredients, you know, could make your hair very fluff, like fly away and almost like frizzy and staticky. Uh, 
you know, again, not shampooing your hair over time, I think the buildup on your scalp could be just a nightmare. Your hair, could, your scalp could get very oily. You maybe you may break out. You know, your scalp may even get a little bit dry, not dry, but like clumpy and, and cakey because of all the oils building up over time. And, you know, so I would suggest, honestly, like, I don't see a whole bunch of benefits to not shampooing your hair, especially when needed. So, however, now let's talk about the pros of not washing your hair and the cons. So the pros of not washing your hair. So a lot of people are like anti shampoo because they think there may be harsh chemicals, which could be true, but I guess some people feel like it helps promote hair growth a little bit more, makes the scalp feel better, uh, makes their hair feel better. I think it's more of a placebo type of thing, to be honest with you, where you think like your hair is getting better and better and it's less drying. But in my opinion though, if you're using the wrong type of shampoo, that could be contributing to the issues you're having, which is why you don't want to shampoo your hair. If, you, if you've tried one shampoo or two shampoos and you just hate how they are, well, chances are you're not going to want to use those again, <laughs> to be honest with you. However, if you use a really good shampoo after using a bad one, you may end up liking that one so much and it may perform the way you want it, then you keep using it. So. You know, the pros to not washing your hair, I, I mean, there's people all over the internet who are like, oh, I wash my hair once a year, or I never wash my hair, I stopped washing it three months ago, I haven't, I haven't shampooed my head in like, you know, five months. <clears throat> I'm like, well, first of all, I wouldn't want to smell that. <laughs> uh, and second of all, I mean, I don't know. So what now, what are the cons of not washing your hair? Again, it could build up to where your scalp gets so oily and so greasy and dirty that you're starting to form, you know, clumps and flakes and it, and it ends up having the, your, your um, the pores can get clogged, uh, your scalp, you know, can get clogged and it's actually gonna prevent your hair from breathing, your scalp from breathing and growing, like your hair growing properly. So, you know, it's like taking on too much of something, it's gonna be just too much. So I think the cuticle layer on your scalp needs to be cleansed. I mean, it comes down to that. You need to clean it or else the pores, follicles, everything's going to get kind of clogged and built up and it's going to start to layer and layer on top of not only your scalp, but also your hair and also the smell. I'll be honest with you. I mean, when I, used, when I was working in a salon many years ago and I used to wash someone's hair, like a woman who would get her hair done once a week, sometimes every two weeks when they would come in, and I would just rinse their hair before even washing it, rinsing. And the water was literally just cloudy and the smell was just awful. Chances are you may have a very bad odor <laughs> when you don't wash your hair, okay? I mean, hate to say it, but I have seen it, I've smelt it before, and it's not the most pleasant. So now, here's why I'm asking to ask you all a favor. And I want as many comments as possible. This is such a big topic that we all talk about. What is your approach? Have you found success with not washing your hair? Have you tried not washing your hair and you're like, yeah, this is just a fluke. It doesn't work for me. And then went back to washing your hair. Do you wash it? You know, and then also the big question, how often do you wash your hair? Yes, I'll, I'll address that, which I've done before. I say every two to three days or as needed. If you're somebody who just works outside all day, you're sweating constantly, you feel your hair's grow, you've got to thick at it. Wash your hair as often as you want. That's it. Maybe then use a little conditioner to soften it a little bit. Use maybe my 25 spray, use one of my shampoos so you know you're using in conditioner so you know you're using good stuff. I mean, it comes down to that. But like, let me know in the comments below what has been working for you. And I really I do want to see somebody or a handful of people saying like, oh, I haven't washed my hair in like five months and my hair is better than ever. Like, okay. But let me know in the comments below. Like, let's get as many comments as possible. And let me know once again, if you, or what you want to see in these kind of versus videos. I'm going to do one like, you know, wavy hair versus curly hair, straight hair versus wavy hair, uh, 
you know, blonde hair versus dark hair. I mean, like, let's get creative and let's keep this, this going because I feel refreshed with this, with my content. So if you do want to use any of my shampoos and conditioners, use code YouTube 20. That's YouTube 20 at shop.theslonga.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.